Hello once again. So, uh, my first video that I did was, um, one of the first videos was common issues that you can find in auto hotkeys and how to fix them. Did pretty well, so I figured I'd do another one for sure. Uh, in this one, I'm going to cover uh, hotkeys kind of stepping on each other when you're using sends. Uh, I see a lot of people saying, hey, I, you know, I'm sending a certain uh, string, but then I have another function triggering, and how do I prevent that? Another thing I want to do is a common GUI error you get. Uh, when you close out a GUI and try to open it again, uh, sometimes it'll throw an error saying, hey, you know, you can't use this variable twice. So I'll show you how to fix that. And then I also kind of wanted to talk, you know, I know auto hotkey is very popular in the gaming community. So I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, can I get banned for using auto hotkeys? Uh, I have a program that I'm trying to run, but it won't run if Auto Hotkeys is running. And uh, some kind of advice, also some tips and tricks on how to get around some of those games that might not let you actually even use Auto Hotkeys uh, for certain reasons. Obvious reasons, I hope. <laughs> so, use it at your own risk. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was the Auto Hotkeys kind of stepping on each other in the script. So in this script, I got, um, I'm going to press F1. It's just going to send the letter A, and I want it to stop. But down here, you see that I have a hotkey assigned to A. So if I were to run this right now and push F1, I'm actually going it, to, so it sent A, but then A triggered this down here, and I got this message box. I don't want that. I just want to send the letter A. So a way to kind of get around that is with this uh, line of code here. So the first one you want to do is just hotkey, comma, A, comma, off. So I'm saying turn this uh, hotkey down here off. Well, obviously, after I do actually send, I want to turn it back on. So I'm going to use the same line of code. I'm just going to change that to say on. So now, if I go ahead and relaunch that... Let me put my cursor here. I'm going to push F1. And it sent the letter A. And as you notice, this message box never popped up. But now, I can go ahead and just push the letter A. And I get that message box. So if you have a lot of hotkeys in your code, you know, just watch out for whenever you're trying to send, you know, input, you know. Long piece of uh, text, as you saw right there, I was trying to type. It did that. You know, these can be very helpful for uh, turning off when you want to. So even with this long string, you know, A is going to hit. It's going to, you know, send it. And even if A is not in the beginning, it's at the end. It's going to, you know, it's going to send everything correctly. But once it hits that A, it's going to go down here. Unless you have it turned off temporarily. So that's how that works. The next thing was the GUIs. So I have a real simple GUI here. Um, let me go ahead and show you that. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. So if I push F2, I get my GUI. But let's say I'm done with it. I close it out. You know, do whatever else. I come back. I want to open it again. I'm going to push F2 again. And I'm actually going to get this error. The same variable cannot be used for more than one control. And that's that variable right here. Now, if I didn't have this variable in here, or any in my GUI, you would be fine. You'd be able to reopen it over and over again. Um, let me go ahead and show you that, actually. So it open. See, I can open it as many times as I want. But if there is a variable in there, it is going to mess you up. So a way to get around this is very simple. All you got to do is add GUI, comma, destroy. I put this pretty much in any GUI I make, regardless of there being a variable, just out of habit, in case maybe in the future I do add a variable. I want to make sure that's there. So let's go ahead and test that out. F2. Close it out. And as you see, I can now open it as many times as I want without worrying about it. And this basically just kind of is like a reset to the GUI, and it's like it's opening it up again fresh. Uh, if I want that variable to always, you know, have something there, I've done some videos with showing you how to use INI files for storing 
uh, GUIs. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description. Uh, INI files are really helpful when it comes to GUIs and uh, making sure you don't lose all that information each time you close and reopen. So I'm sure probably a big reason why a lot of people here uh, watching this video are gaming scripts. Uh, you know, a lot of questions always get asked, you know, can I get banned? It really depends. If you're playing a single player game, you're going to be fine. You know, they don't care what you're doing. You can hack all day long for all they care. It's when you start playing games that involve multiplayers, especially, you know, like server-based stuff, uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Call of Duty, that kind of stuff. That's where they're really watching. If you do create a script, um, a good recommendation is to kind of make it look like you're playing. Don't just have it sitting there repeating the same actions over and over and over again. Maybe have your character every once in a while move somewhere. Add a random generator on how long the sleep lasts. You know, if you're sitting there performing the same action exactly every 20 seconds, somebody's going to notice it and report you. So maybe randomize your sleep. You know, perform the action every, you know, after 5 seconds. But then on the next repeat in the loop, Maybe do it after 30 seconds. You know, you still get caught, but it's going to help it look more natural and you're less likely to get reported. Now, there are some games out there. Um, there's a whole list of them. I'm not going to go over them. But um, a lot of people have said, you know, hey, I'm trying to launch this game and it won't launch because I'm running auto hotkeys or, I, you know, I can launch it, but my script won't work at all. A lot of these uh, games, they're watching for the command send to be sent. So just the, uh, you know, like, send, click. They're watching for this, and they can see that you are doing that. Um, a way to kind of get around this sometimes, not always, is to actually compile your program. Uh, if you're running it just like this, they can detect that you're running an AHK uh, script. So your best bet is to actually compile. So if you install Auto Hotkeys, it comes with the uh, compiler. So you can just go in there, you know, select your script. What do you want to name it? Gaming script. And then, uh, you know, if you want to change your icon, you can. I just leave it at the default. Convert. You're going to get a little notification here in a second letting you know that it completed. Usually it's a lot faster than this, but sometimes my um, fire scan slows it down a little bit. And then just launch this. Um, another recommendation is to run it as an administrator. This isn't always going to work, but there are some games that you can't launch this way, but you can launch this way and run your script within the game. So that's definitely something that hopefully helps you. But like I said, you know, try to kind of go to Google, auto hotkey the game you're playing, see if anybody else has had like previous experiences with it. Um, you know, read their disclaimer. Uh, a lot of people ask about Discord and deleting channel messages. Um, you can do it, but it is in their like, um, you know, terms and conditions that like. They don't want you doing it, and if you automate it with a bot, they will ban you. Uh, so you can usually at least find the information somewhere on either their terms and conditions or pre previous players who have attempted to do this. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys on this one. I'll be making a third one hopefully soon. I just got to scour on the internet, see what people are kind of running into. If you guys have a problem that you think is... Uh, an interesting one for me to do definitely comment below and i'll hopefully be able to cover it for you guys all right uh subscribe definitely doing more videos and thank you guys